Here we go. London Bridge. Just went under it. It's just spectacular from this way. You get to see all that wicked view. I'll turn around and do it the other way. There we go. London Bridge. Just making sure I get every angle covered here. Sure is a it would be nice if it was a beautiful sunny sunny day, but you can't win them all. Oh, well. Off to the brewery. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. All the, the age of that basalt. Now it's slowly eroding away, but there's a fair bit of it, good chunk. But uh, he said to lose this part of it and some good cracks on it as he walks under it. <laughs> but yeah, look at that window. I like the Calvary kind of nature's window. Oh, let's see if I swing around a little bit more and there we go. It's pretty nice. So yeah, not a bad place to come on up. Reasonable turnaround uh, area there for any vans as long as there's not a, a big queue of them. Picnic table. We'll toodle on down to the next spot. Next park up spot. It's a nice little bit of sun just tries to peek its way through. Um, the brewery. We're on our way back down to Sandstone now. We passed this on the way in, but I said, oh, we'll, we'll check it on the way back. Just a word of warning, you get these shafts and uh, the, uh, what do you say, the, you feel like walking all the way up to it, but just be careful. There's a, usually a lot of undermining that can happen um, before you get to the hole. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna reach my, um, my gimbal over that, but, um, yeah, I'm standing uh, back from the edge. But, uh, a little breezy. Thirsty workers didn't have far to come from their mines up here for a cold brew. Now I know London Bridge wasn't just a social gathering point for a picnic. Yeah, they dropped the kids and mum off there and the boys came down here. <laughs> Pretty good. The guy on uh, Wikicamp says, said, make sure you go to the top of the uh, cave because the views are pretty good from up there. So here I am. And it's not bad at all. from the top obviously uh, from what I could work out he's dug into the bank here I'm saying well away from the edge but yeah it was up here where is I guess it could have even been a shed or something where it then fed down and I'm not too sure I'm sure we'll find some pictures wish it was a nicer day it'd be beautiful 
Here we go, here's an old slab at the top. So, that might have even been the shed. A good view. Pleased we made it. Not a bad little journey in the in the motorhome there. Two-wheel drive, all right. Yeah. Not a not a struggle at all. Now into sandstone. We'll go and see a little bit of the history there. Hopefully we can find a, an information centre and a museum open. Well, we've arrived in the beautiful town of sandstone. Sun's trying to stream through and make it even nicer. We're going to have a quick look here at the information centre. Get some information. Lost Jude. Caravan place down there. It's like an old servo here. And we got the National um, Hotel, Sandstone Hotel down there. So around Sandstone they've got these beautiful uh, museum parks and things with uh, some of the old machinery. And I am so hoping that my old mate's machinery is in here. Here's some old, uh, some old well cranks or whatever it is. Go and pick up the rock from the bottom or... It's seen a fair bit of use. Oh, I'll give up on that one. This is driven by a belt or something. It might be a mill. What it does down there. No, pass on that one. The little red dozer that could. there that uh, sandstone will, will still play a part in the future. Ongoing exploration of uh, gold and other minerals including uh, vanadium, uranium, iron ore and nickel. And here we have the National Hotel. 1907. So there's a general store. The gas pump across the road, you can go and pay for the gas there as well. And I've seen photos, I'll see if I can catch up with them in here if I've got them. But um, planes used to park out front, they used to land planes and somewhere here and <laughs> come on and have a beer.
There you go, just in the uh, in the tavern here, London Bridge, nice little painting there. And just interesting, our next port of call is right here. So Peter Den Denny, um, it was a natural rock breakaway named after Peter Denny, who oversaw the ceiling of Mount Magnet to Leinster Road. That's where we hope to be tonight. Well. We got ourselves a parking spot for the night. Oh, she's a little windy, but oh, it's beautiful. It's a nice spot. Plenty, plenty of room. It's um, Peter Denny um, rest stop, and um, you know, it's just out of sandstone by about 30 k's. I think we've got about 100 and something k's still to go to as a Leicester. And um, yeah, we're gonna pull up here. We had a fun, fun. Um, Stop there in um, Sandstone. We had plenty of time to go and walk the sites and um, had a great feed at the pub. That was very nice, so highly recommended. And uh, lovely talking to the public in there. And also the, uh, the last at um, the Information Centre, Kim. Well done. Really enjoyed our time there um, learning about uh, Sandstone. I'll show you over the, uh, the edge. So here we go. We are parked on the on the edge I don't know on the escarpment or whether it was used as a quarry or something but uh, yeah just perched on the side of the road there's this wonderful expanse looking um, I would presume probably south we had a, had a, uh, a couple of little glimmers of hope for the day but uh, yeah the clouds kept on coming in and going away but uh, here's a big expanse. I understand there's sometimes some dingoes running around and some kangaroos and wallabies out there. I've got bloody poor eyesight at the best of times, so it's certainly a big expanse of land. Just doing a, a parting. Just doing a parting goodbye from uh, Peter Denny's uh, rest stop. It wasn't a bad night, very windy um, to start with, so we haven't really got too much in the way of footage throughout the day. But right about down there somewhere, if my finger ain't on it or in it, but uh, kangaroo having a morning feed, munch munch. They did say kangaroos and wallabies down in this little spot, so one for the for the visit here so that was good uh, yeah last night uh, up until the night it just blew like nobody's business um, I got a fire going and we cooked up some yabbies which were really really nice I might do that somewhere about there is a kangaroo having a munch he came closer to me so my eyesight can see him that's good Alrighty, quick rundown of Peter Denner, his uh, rest stop, not a bad spot. Um, it was a breakout, they call this uh, sudden disappear of uh, rock down that way. So um, there was only a couple of us here since, uh, last night, had a little fire going down here, but the wind was pretty bad, but it did die off in the, uh, in the evening and we had a very pleasant night's sleep, so it was uh, hey, a good spot to, to stop. So uh, we've got 100 k's to um, uh, Leicester. Leinster and uh, we'll see what's there get some water and get out of these flies <laughs> all right next way